Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 93 and as always you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also hop over to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter. As always, I'm Shane and let's get started. Today we are on the flag module. We're going to be going over how you can use the flag module to create a flagging system on your Drupal site. Whether you need to flag bookmarks or flag content as offensive or as you can see there's a bunch of other options Anytime you need to mark a piece of content on a Drupal site, the flag module can help you out with that. You can also look and see some of the features. It's very much integrated in with views. You can use tokens, rules, and there's just a whole bunch of other nice features that it has. We're just going to go over a very simple example of creating a simple bookmarking system. And you can take that idea and you can run with it and build a whole bunch of other things. So we're going to get started by going to a test site and I am going to go ahead and start by turning on the flag module which I've already downloaded so I'll enable the flag module and then I'll come back and click on configure you can see it automatically creates a flag for bookmarks and you can flag different nodes it gives you the users that can flag this as well as what entity bundles. We can go ahead and edit this. We can change some of the settings here. It's called bookmarks. That's the machine name. This is the title of it. You can make it a global flag, which means similar to how a node can be published or unpublished, you could add another flag here for you know a favorited node, and then if one user favorites it, it's favorited for all the users, or, or so something like that. We're basically every node has a published status and no matter what if another user publishes or unpublishes the node it's viewable that way for all users global makes this happen on a global level otherwise it happens on an individual level in this case we want it to be individual because we want everyone to be able to bookmark their own content independent of each other so the text we're gonna have it say bookmark this and it's gonna add this post to your bookmarks it's gonna after you actually add it it's gonna give you this message you can also unbookmark it which will say that it removes it from the bookmarks. You can use tokens in this if you need to. And you can say which roles may use this flag. You can also select which, in this case, which content types are going to be available. We'll just allow it on articles. You can also set it that a user can't flag their own content or a user can only flag their own content. We're going to leave this at no restrictions. You can have a checkbox on the node edit form. You can display links on the teasers and the node page. We're going to use a JavaScript toggle, but you can have a normal link or a confirmation form. JavaScript toggle is obviously a little nicer. So we'll leave it at the defaults for the most part and click Save. We're now going to come over to we're gonna, well, we're going to start by just adding a couple test articles. Just add some text in there just so it looks like it's a filled out node page of an article. And we'll add one more quick one just so we have two different types of, or two different pieces of content that are articles. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to go to the content type page for article. And we're going to go ahead and, well actually we're going to go ahead and edit this. And as you can see there's a flag here. So you as a user could bookmark this right from the actual node edit page. But what we want to do is we want to actually look at the node view page. So if you scroll down in this article, you can see there's now a link to bookmark this. So we can go ahead and click that. You can see it uses JavaScript. It says this book has been added to your bookmarks. Also, if I hover over it, it gives you the 
tooltip that says remove this post from your bookmarks. So as you can see you can bookmark it, you can unbookmark it, and this shows up on both articles. But you can see obviously I only bookmarked the first one so this one still says that I can bookmark it. Now if I come into my account you can see that there is a bookmark section and it tells me the type that I've bookmarked, the title of it, I can click on it and go to it. Also gives me the author. The cool thing to note is this whole thing is a view. So what that means is if you don't like a column, say we don't want to have replies on here, we can go ahead and edit the view, rearrange it and remove the replies, save this and of course the replies column is now gone and because it integrates so nicely with views you can build a views or you can build a whole bunch of views depending on listing other people's bookmarks if you want it to be you wanted people to be able to see what people other people are bookmarking if you want to change the columns up or have it show additional information about this node if you had additional fields here you can really do whatever you need to do but what's really nice about this is this is independent of any other user on the site so if I logged in as a different user of course I'd have my own bookmarks which is just a nice handy way for you to allow users to bookmark and unbookmark content and in fact I use this module on the Code Karate site if you create an account you can actually add different Daily Dose of Drupal videos to a video queue which is using this flag module this one is of course Drupal 6 but if you log in, and I believe I have a tests account that I can show you. It's running a little bit slow today. So if I go ahead and log in to the Code Karate site, I will be able to hop over the Daily Dose of Drupal section if I know the login okay we're gonna just log in with this one then so if I hop over to the daily dose of Drupal section now that it is finally getting loaded here you can see that there's a link for video queue on the My Account page. So I, what I can do is I can hop over to the Daily Dose of Drupal section and I can add items to the video queue. So you can see there's a link here to add to video queue. I simply click on that. It says that the post has been added to the video queue. I can then come into My Account. That's not what I wanted to click on. I can come over to My Account. Since I'm logged in as an admin, obviously I have some hover links that are showing up. But I come over to my account, click on video queue, and it's going to list all of the different videos in my video queue. So here we go. It shows all the items in the video queue. also gives me a link to remove it from the queue. So this is just using the flag module to allow each user to bookmark different videos that they want to watch and then as they watch them they can of course remove them from the queue and this is of course built using just the Drupal flag module so as you can see it's a very useful piece of functionality it's also good for you know f having people flag content as spam or offensive or things like that you can also have you know people flag different profiles or flagging as friends that that type of thing so you can go ahead and use this to build a whole bunch of different dynamic flagging systems. And that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal, and we'll be back again next time with another episode. Thank you for watching.